Hello, everybody. I hope everyone is getting ready for a very happy and filling Thanksgiving Day. For those that are in the U.S., for those that aren't, we're thankful for you, and we hope you have a nice meal, too. I am, I drew this Rudolph the other day for a short, and he he got so much attention, and, but I was looking at the page today, and I thought, you know, I got some owies, and Rudolph looks so lonely. I'll, I'll tell you about the owies later, but I'm, I'm okay. <laughs> so I decided, let's give him his normal companions. So right now, I am drawing a Santa face. I'm only doing faces on this one. Just the faces. Yeah, they look a little disembodied, but it's not Halloween. They're nice faces. Had to throw that in, huh? My pencil wasn't working very well, at least not the one I picked up first, so I decided to use a pen and pray that I didn't make mistakes. Uh, yeah, that's me. I always make mistakes. <laughs> so, let's see what I can do with this Santa. So far, I've got his, I think I've even got his proportions all right. I could have maybe given him a little fatter face, but eh, this will do. This will do. You never have to be perfect with any of it. Just make it fun and cute. <laughs> I mean, look at that Rudolph. He had a lot of people liked him. And he just a plain old deer face with a red nose. <laughs> I'm being silly, but for good reason. It hurts less. Okay, I will explain. Yesterday, no, day before yesterday, I was coming through the hall, and I somehow got my shoe looped in my oxygen tubing. And it just shocked both my husband and I. He was standing right there. And he was, he, he didn't see it coming. I didn't see it coming. Because I was looking forward. I wasn't looking at my feet. So somehow my oxygen to me just formed this perfect little loop that caught my shoe and, and my toe. And down I went. I just flat out. <laughs> So I mostly damaged my left knee and my right hand. And I was pretty much out of breath. Not sure exactly how bad off I was for a little bit. But um, finally I kind of, well, I rolled over onto my derriere. And we checked my kneecap. Couldn't feel anything floating around in there where it shouldn't. The kneecap felt like it should. So uh, we just started icing it right then and there. At that point, we weren't thinking much about the hand. It, finally, the knee started giving in a little bit and the hand started hurting. It's kind of all that delayed stuff, you know, with the adrenaline and all that. And it's that the fat pad right at the bottom of the thumb, right at the base of the thumb. Oh, man, that swelled up, and it was starting to get hard to move, and it's like, oh, boy. So we tried a ice pack on that, too. And so most of the rest of that day and yesterday, I wore a brace on my knee. We had some around here, soft braces. So, I was, I really wasn't limping that bad. It was just more for support because it hurt. And it hurt less with the thing on there. Sorry, I'll be right back. Ouch. Oh. So,
so, <laughs> to continue this, sorry for the little blank spot there. So then, yesterday morning, we had to call up to the dentist because I lost a tooth. Not that same day. I lost a tooth mm, a week or so before that. And they thought they would have it the next day to put into my, I have a lower plate, lower denture, and or partial. And they could put this, they could fit that tooth into that same partial, which was a good savings. And it was supposed to be able to be in the next day or the day after with the company that they normally use. Well, as things have been going for me lately, they called the next day and they said, I'm so sorry, the company that we work with on these teeth, they had some machinery problems and they couldn't get the, they couldn't work with us on this one. So it probably, they had to farm it out to another company and it probably won't be in until the 23rd. And here we were, it was like the 23rd and nobody called. So I called up there and it was about 8.30 in the morning. I called up and they they had it. <laughs> I, was, I was almost eaten. I, I, by that time, I was hurting enough that I just was almost hoping it wasn't there. I mean, I wanted it to be there, but I was like, not wanting to go, <laughs> but it was nice weather. I do have to say that it wasn't wasn't real cold like we were oh, a couple weeks ago. So I'm making a short story long, but we I got myself all put together and I got out to the van. Joe watching me like a hawk. <laughs> So I got in the van, and not the van, we used the car. <sighs> anyway, it's three in the morning, guys. Don't expect much of me. I woke up at three in the morning, and this is what I'm doing. I'm narrating. <laughs> so we went up, and I was so afraid because my teeth are really close. This is a bottom tooth. And my teeth are really close down there. And it fit perfectly. Thank goodness. I told the dentist, I said, I was so afraid that the teeth on the other sides of it would have kind of started to close in that gap a little bit. And he said, I was too. <laughs> but thank goodness it all came out and I have now got a full set of teeth, top and bottom. So afterwards, I told Joe, I said, I want a hamburger. I'd been on soft food, easy to chew food, because I had no molars on the lower. I had my fake molars on top. Didn't have any molars. <laughs> so chewing was usually, you know, it was just kind of a gumming type situation. I could chew, I couldn't grind. So I know that sounds awful, don't it? Oh, Mr. Elf is just about done. You can see I misspelled Rudolph up there. <laughs> That's okay. We're going to finish Mr. Elf here. But yes, that was my adventure. And so if you happen to decide to come and watch this today or yesterday's, yesterday I didn't talk. I put music and I think that was appropriate. Today, I thought, oh, I want to tell my story now that it's not hurting so bad and I know I'm not broken. I'm just, you know, but I had a bone density test about a year ago and it turned out pretty good. So, love you all. I hope you've enjoyed this little story and I hope you've enjoyed seeing me give Rudolph some companions on this page. We'll see you later. I love you both. Bye.